Friday. Definitely gonna go to praise. Got a toasted coconut, a red velvet, and a blueberry. And one of the world's best coffees. Okay friends, we're finally going to put together the Gala Kite, the Wright Flyer, from our friend Wayne Hosking. There's a couple things on the front of the, actually the sail of the kite that you cut out of this plastic. Here's everything that you need to know. Here we have all the materials you need. You need a kite sail that we're going to cut out of this plastic. Going to need one 24 inch wooden dowel, two 12 inch wooden dowels, actually three 12 inch by 3 16 wooden dowels. Then we'll need some plastic tubing, and if we want to get scientific, a protractor. And there's even a instructions on how to make your own protractor in this. So here's, a, here's how you do it. Step one, cut out the kite sail and tail strips, tape or tie the strips together. Okay, well right here we have everything. We have the 24 inch by 3 16 dowel and three 12 inch by 3 16 Got our plastic tubing came with it, some tape, and scissors, and even more tape just in case. And this gauge right here on the side of the sail on the cutout tells you how long the tubes are supposed to be. We need three of these. And then right here, uh, it tells you how these should be done. So what you do is you take the rubber tube and you bend it in half. Take your scissors. You just want to cut the top a little bit. So you have a hole. Can you see that? Just like that. See, this is how you cut the hole for the tubes, just like we did. And then we go over here to figure two. This tells you how this is supposed to look from the back angle. This is the face here. You're looking at it as it's laying down towards you. And then this is the spars in the back, the spreader and the spine. And this is where those rubber tubes are gonna go. Go over here to figure three. Tells us how we tape the frame onto the back of the kite. And then here in figure four is the tail. You can tie them together or you can tape them. And then that's just where you attach it to the spine. And then we find out some scientific facts here about how the angle works and a little bit of trigonometry, math, get your brain moving a little bit. And then here is the, the front of the kite. You see 1987 here. What were you doing in 1987? Leave a comment below. Let me know if you were flying a kite at that time in your life. I was seven years old in 1987. And yes, at that point in life, I had flown a kite. So some pointers here and let's keep moving.
Okay, now we're gonna cut out the rest of the sail. Okay, then we'll keep our directions handy, so finish the kite up. You know, if you really wanted to, you could take these scraps and do something cool with them. I think I'm going to make a feather out of it, or a couple feathers. I think it'd be cool with the old instructions on it. Or you could just make another kite. Here is where we put the dowel rod through the rubber tube. And we attach the, one of the smaller 12 inch dowel rods into either side. And here, Says it five and a half inches, so I would say you're about halfway there. Go back just a tad. It should be about right. Do the same thing here. You put it in through the middle. And then you take your third dowel rod. And you can you can measure that you probably should measure this but you can also eyeball use your eyeballs and that is a very accurate measuring device to be able to tell what this is so I have a question for you guys and girls and ladies and gentlemen when what year was the first flight you just saw it don't rewind Tell me what you think the first flight is. As soon as we turn this over, you're gonna, you're gonna find out. So here we take our pieces of tape. One. Just fold it right over. There's that. Well, for this example, this Dow rod is a little long for worthy kite sail, but that's okay. There we have it. And you know the year? 1903. The Wayne Hosking, the kiteologist and educator. What a cool kite. call it yet.
let you know. See that? Campfire. 